all right so what's up guys and in this video i have the pixel 6 and the pixel 8 with me both running android 15 beta 1 which was released yesterday that is april 11th um so i'll just quickly go into settings on both go to about phone and as you can see android version is vanilla ice cream but we still have the android 14 easter egg um so i made a video on all the new features um i think i missed missed a few but uh, i covered majority of the new features that was launched with android 15. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about a few issues and a few bugs that are present in android 15 a uh, bit of an update uh, on the device itself and also i'll tell you if you should install this on your primary device so so the pixel 6 here is my secondary device i don't use it use it but i just have it um but pixel 8 on the other hand has two of my sim cards so i use pixel 8 pro uh, pretty pretty regularly um as you can see so yeah so first things first is one of the uh, biggest issue uh, that is nfc so in this version of android the beta 1 nfc doesn't seem to work so if i go into connected devices if i go into connection preferences and if i tap on nfc as you can see it doesn't work i think it'll have the same um thing on the pixel 6 as well so connection devices nfc and yeah it doesn't work i got to know um as yesterday i went to buy something in the store and i was trying to tap and pay luckily i had my apple watch with me so um i could just pay it but yeah nfc isn't working uh google wallet isn't working because of this you can't tap and pay uh, even if you have cards installed um in your google wallet so that feature doesn't work um the next weird thing i've noticed is on the play store um so if i go to my apps and for some reason on my pixel 8 pro the check for update button takes a lot of time so i'll just quickly update this and in the next um few seconds i'll show you how long it's taking to check for updates so okay so now as you can see all the apps are updated and now if i click on the check for updates it takes like 10 seconds to just check for the updates um it is not the same case on my pixel 6 but sometimes it still does this and yeah it takes a lot of time to check for updates and it is also a known bug um and just for you guys to know i have also reported both the bugs regarding nfc and this check for update on the um feedback checker so yeah um the next thing is if you are on pixel 8 pro or let's say any device basically um if you are on the stable version uh, which is android 14 um people are getting issues about uh, installing this on the device so for me uh, my pixel 6 was running the developer betas and my pixel 8 was on the android 14 qpr beta updates so um if you are on the qpr betas of android 14 and if you're running android 15 developer beta on your phone it'll be easier for you to get and install this android 15 public beta on your device but if you are let's say running the stable version of android 14 um, people are having issues with installing this update on their phone so you have to keep that in mind uh, if you want android 15 beta 1 now i think you'll have to um, manually side load it on your device i wouldn't recommend doing it because a lot of people are also facing bootloader issues um basically it goes into a soft boot mode and people are not able to retrieve their phones um so if you have the um oem unlock on i mean i would recommend doing it but i mean i would suggest not to um just mess with the first beta um wait for it to get more stable and then install the second beta which will be um better so one more thing i wanted to show you guys uh, which was released with the um android 15 developer betas was predictive back gestures so you just have to go to system go down to developer options 
and then scroll down until you find this option called predictive back animations so i have it on both of my pixel 6 and the pixel 8 pro um so predict to back animations are really amazing as you can see if i just go back it will predict what i am going back to as you can see so unlike the regular back animation which is just the basic one um this one is actually very very nice and yeah i am definitely a fan of this back gesture so the next thing which i found weird is because this was not the case in the um old android versions is if you go to developer options now uh, you have the memory profiling disabled as you can see um you can't really see uh, what app is taking how much amount of your memory so if you want to enable it you will have to reboot your device um if you care about it that much but i mean if you don't then you're probably good but if you like seeing what app is taking um your memory your phone memory your phone memory then i think you should enable this but i mean yeah that is um pretty much it for the um update um nothing major um honestly this is just a minor update with a lot of behind the scenes updates um so yeah i mean if you have any questions regarding this update um let me know down in the comment section or if you didn't watch the old videos with the new feature i would definitely leave that link in the description uh, box down below all right so one thing i forgot to mention um is the battery life because a lot of people on twitter asked me how the battery life is um on this update so if i go to my battery um battery usage i think i charged it yesterday um and yeah battery life has been amazing um it's been like a day and it's still at 52% while on the other hand on my pixel 6 it is a little weird because um the overnight drop on the pixel 6 is um a little um weird as you can see there's a huge gap there um, and that is all overnight uh, battery drain even after having the bedtime mode turned on so battery life on the pixel 6 is okay but it has been really amazing on the um, pixel 8 pro no issues on that so yeah that's all so yeah that is pretty much it um thank you for watching this video if you have any questions regarding this specific beta or let's say any other beta as well um put them down in the comment section and i'll be happy to help but other than that that should be pretty much it uh thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel because a lot of videos will be coming soon on this beta as the next versions uh release so yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one